Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you my new pedal board. So um, it's John Shanty pedal board. It's not new. I've got um, a new pedal. I'm gonna um, gonna be showing you. So yeah, I'll see you when I when I'm done. Oh, I can't show you by the way. I can show you actually. Yeah, you'll be able to listen to it. You'll have you'll know what it is. I can't like move it. That's the big muff. Big muff. And I've got power lead now, so I can do it. So yeah, I'll see you. Big Muff.
Fuzz right, well not a fuzz right, but you know what I mean. Right, so <laughs> yeah, how I have it is I have tone um volume at three o'clock, so basically three o'clock, tone on, on ten, um and the sustain is at three o'clock. <laughs> Running every, all of it on, um, apart from this one, um, oh, it's five way, but I've got only four pedals, so I've left that five, the fifth one out. <laughs> said of Instagram because um, I can't upload at the moment on Instagram. It's keeps it's uploading it just keeps stopping and starting. <laughs> and also the knobs on this big muff are smaller so it must be like a different um it's the new version, not the original not like the older models. Well not the vintage one but the early ones, uh, the older models. Back in the two thousands, early two thousands it must have had a bigger knob bigger knobs. They look a bit small. I don't know if it's just because of the picture. Because of the picture, of we got it off Amazon. It's absolutely good. It just looks bigger. <laughs> it sounds a lot brighter just because of the um, finger. <laughs> See, want to show you how it sounds on this. So this is big muff. The wire on high impedance muff because it's um, different impedance. It's 1k impedance, I think. The output is 1k on high impedance muff because of the key. Because they used to be for keyboards, the C1, so it's different impedance. So the wire sounds different. Yeah, the wire doesn't sound right. It's just because of the impedance. It plus it could be how I'm running the pedals. I don't know. Yeah, you need some sort of like buff. It could be just this that's doing it. Um, if you lower it even more, I don't know what it is. It, it could be just yeah, but I'll show you the big muff now on hand keyboard. I've never come in contact with one, so it's absolutely awesome. We got it today, but because I bought it with my money, I've got 55 quid left, but I'm saving it up. I have tried a 
vintage um the um vintage big muff or the vintage main just pandy s2 because the main pandy s2 has um germanian diodes <laughs> germanian diodes faster this one has for some reason it's a lot faster the s2 on at this tower yeah could be a vintage tower but yeah that um it's not a best video guys um um, just making sure nothing's loose. Low, but the DS2. Yeah, when you have it on high, you can pinch, it's a lot fatter, and it's not really a nice sound. But it's alright. Um, so yeah, um, if you're doing by the way here as well, you can have the um you sh you should have um the C1 level knob about eleven o'clock in high pinch more. DS2 you could have it lower and big muff brighter. So it gives you this. Uh... That sounds better. So yeah, that's a really cool sound as well. So what I'm keeping it as is just like this for staying. Pedals, guys, are amazing. I've not, I've never tried the Tom Wicker one either. I've never come in contact with a big muff. Uh, but I'm, I hopefully next it'll be the WH10 V1. I need to get a pedal board. So there's Kip Daisy Chain mess. Because I'm running off ba uh, Daisy Chain now instead of batteries. And I'll have to get, I'll have to get more patch leads because of them. Not enough. Well, we've got three left. There's a three. Yeah, three left. Those do though for now. One, three, four, six. Six, so I need. Awesome sound. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll have to do a pedal board um, rig rundowns one day. Um, hopefully soon. Yeah, I just waited till I got the big muff so I could do the pedal board rundown, but I'm not doing it. I'm going to do it sometime. So I'm be. Don't know when. It's awesome. I love it. And when you combine it, just listen to this. Incredible. What a minute are we on? 14 going to 15 in a minute. We've got 18 minutes, so that's not bad. We've got like another three minutes. Yeah. Awesome sound. I love it. I love the big moth. But it doesn't beat as much. I feel it's going to be better than the DS2, but it's not. I still prefer the DS2. I love the big muff as well, it's awesome. So if you can you can just combine it. I've never tried a multi right fuzz and this is just what it's replicating a bit. Well no, this is the big muff first. Because um John actually always has his DS before the WH10. Um during Cali, by the way, in Stadium Arcadium in 2007 obviously. Um he had about three more pedals, I think he said it 2007. He had the English muffin. And he said that's one of his favourite distortion panels. Um, yeah, and the uh, and they're doing um, the English muffin and gear for music, I think. So you could go and get one of them. Yeah, this one's one of the best. This is awesome. This pedal. 
Highly recommend it. Yeah, we're on 15 minutes. That's not bad. So, yeah. <laughs> this video and um, it's awesome I've no I've not played it through the Marshall yet but I can't play it at the moment because it's blown still the speaker's not working I, I told you anyway um but if you wanted to get a cheaper John Fashanti um I'd recommend this amp because it's it, they, they just they don't blow you know they, they've got a better speaker you can crank them amps to 10 and they won't blow you know what I mean the Marshall, I think the Marshall, um, the MG's not as good as this, in my opinion. The new ones aren't. And I forgot to get my mum to contact her. Yeah, so, yeah. But um, we're going to be getting it fixed. Um, probably, You'd have to contact eBay, but we forgot to do it again. So hopefully later on we'll be able to do it. Yeah, the switch is pretty heavy. But yeah, thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. But it's not the best one. And see you later, guys.